Hello again everybody to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. I'm number 12 and I have uh, Fox Pups here. Uh, also a bunch of other things. Let's uh, check what we have achieved. I also noticed that I didn't upload the last two episodes so I still have plenty of things to uh, show you and you will probably see this way after it's been recorded. I currently don't know the date. Oh right, it's the 3rd of July now so um, to all of you American uh, viewers, have a nice pre-independence day. All others have a nice uh, 3rd of July. If there is a holiday for you right now, then enjoy that. We'll just set up my alarms and then I will dive right into playing Dwarf Fortress again. Okay, uh, so we have some fields. We should look pretty good on uh, food. Yeah, we don't have much meat and fish and stuff, but we have tons of prepared meals. We have 2,000 prepared meals, almost 3,000 prepared meals. So our fortress is pretty darn well fed. I think we also established a hospital last time. Let's uh, check how that went. That's not the hospital, that's the place you go afterwards. Um, Okay, we dug it very deep, because for some reason, uh, I remember now, the caves were pretty darn deep and we placed the hospital directly over the caves, so we had this uh, lovely little lake here, very deep indeed. Uh, could use that as a water source. Apparently the well is working, because it I think it shows something else and active if it's uh, actually dry. So did we assign that as a hospital area? Apparently we didn't. Why did we not? Okay, I want to... Okay, I don't have a door. No, oh, okay, no, I want that. Okay, we have some bags. I also want a new rock door. Oh, make me uh, one of those, yes. No, wait, I want... I uh, actually want seven of those. Okay. So we can um, finish our hospital. I'm going to... I'm going to... store away all of those. And didn't I say no bins here? No, I didn't. Why did I not? Uh, okay, I want no bins here. Okay, apparently I forgot to, uh, I forgot to set that. Uh, I don't want this stuff here in bins because I don't know if it's uh, accessible to the hospital then. Okay, let's see how the fortress uh, looks health-wise. We have... Uh, oh my, what do we have here? We have some... I actually never really got the hang of this. Oh, we have some thirsty dwarves, we have some... Uh, Immobilized dwarves, and this is apparently. Oh my god, we can't even check this for all the, for the animals. I'm not going to look at that right now. Do we have any uh, justice? We have no criminals. Isn't that awesome? I guess we're going to um, set up a prison here as well. Somewhere among all those silly, large, uh, unused layers we have. Especially because we, all right, we have a we also had a trader. I think I finished that last time. Okay, we can buy things. Uh, what do I want to buy? Uh, where was this? Uh, okay, I think I just misplaced my thing. All right. Uh, okay, I think that's it. I may or may not have just not requested anything from the traders. Okay, what else do we have here? We have... Okay, no, we uh, forgot requesting things. Also, our mayor needs an office, quarters, a dining room, chests, cabinets, armor stands and weapon racks. 
Okay, we are currently on that, right? Yes. This shall be the bedroom for our mayor, who currently doesn't have a bedroom, and who suddenly has a quarter and uh, two chests. Okay. I think we still need to give him better quarters, so uh, let's see what his problem is actually, because he has fancy stuff. I mean, he has a smooth floor and all that, so I don't see why he's not happy with his quarter. Then again, yellow might mean his uh, demands are actually uh, overfulfilled. We'll see about that. Also, we should be able to place some tables uh, uh, here now. We have four tables. Why did we have four tables? I think I wanted to have all right because I wanted to have a table on this point. Okay, no artifacts. Um, I wanted a table here. I wanted a table around here. I guess no, I didn't. Okay, I have no idea why I wanted my tables. That's Kinda <laughs> weird. I want them. I want them throw ins too. Let's uh, toss in those. Any decent quality? That's a decent quality. Come on, what was the stupid command for picking those? Uh, that's not that. That was up and that was down there. Oh my, I hate this. Okay, I can scroll up here, which is kind of strange. Um, Alright, that was how you went up. And that was how you went from the bottom to the top. Alright, okay, now I got it again. Uh, controls. It's always fun to get into Dwarf Fortress or any other game you haven't played in a while and completely forget about controls, although there were, I suppose there were world games in War Fortress, because at least it shows you the commands. I remember playing some, some weird plane uh, simulator, it was some, some military plane simulation thing, it was way back in the uh, late 90s, I think, and there was a list with the key bindings assigned to it, and I imagine that must be a pain in the ass to actually play professional because I was just fooling around with it, but I still remember that list and it had the entire keyboard assigned to something. And there were different things if you hit uh, shift, there were different things if you had alt, uh, alt pressed and all that stuff, so there were like effectively like 200 different buttons. And I never bothered learning those because why would I? What just happened? A mood, okay. We have a strange mood going on. We have crafts, dwarves, workshop claimed. Uh, where is that? Is this one? Where's the carpenter? Uh, we want a craft dwarf. Where is the craft dwarf workshop? It was claimed. That is not the workshop we need. Oh, Ashery Carpenter. Okay, that's the place. Okay, it was claimed by a farmer, which means we likely get a completely useless item from that. Shame as that is. Let's see if we can milk some creatures and uh, shear some creatures and spin some thread and make some cheese. There's all those on repeat, so they are actually done repeatedly. The traders have gone already. And I think last time we were um, raised to a barony as well, so we will soon have a baron with a strange needs as well. Where is that? Okay, we need to make him a crypt. That should do. It won't be a very fancy crypt, but it will be a crypt. Okay, the construction is 
done, which is great. Because now we don't have to bother with uh, this moody dwarf anymore. He will just finish his thing and then it's all fine. Also, I wanted to see if we were done here. Okay, I can still engrave this, so I will engrave this. This will pimp up our dining room even further. Okay, you don't have an office and a dining room. We will fix that too. This shall be your office. No wait, this has a cabinet in it, so this will be the office. For this guy. And this will be his dining room. Like this. Is he happy now? I guess we can also have those engraved. Just to make sure it is actually satisfied. And engraving shouldn't take that long because we seem to have two engravers on the job. Once that's done we will actually give them the task of engraving all of this, which is going to be terrible for them. And I still need to come up with something to keep those 40 idlers busy. Uh, I guess I can try to find my barracks up here. I should really place some, some kind of uh, waypoints here, so I can find them. I think there's a setting that lets you do that. And I'm going to just mine out another barrack. Because I don't see us not having uh, received any military dwarfs. And I, no, I did not not see us receive any of... that was weird. Okay, more barracks. And it was that. Same here. And here. And then the same procedure on this side. Oh no, not that. And here. And here. And let's leave out some space, just because we can. Has been we have crafted a Gypsum Scepter. Let's look at it before considering to throw it away. So it is a Gypsum Scepter. All crafts dwarf ships of highest quality. This is soaked with bands of Oval Gypsum Cabacons, Water Buffalo Bone, Grizzly Bear Leather and Round Brown Zircon Cabacons. This object is adorned with hanging rings of willow and menaces with spikes of pigtail fiber. On the item is an image of tapered baguette cut gems in gypsum. There's a lot of G's. Uh, on the item is an image of flight. I rushed. Flighty rushed. The, the beautiful ways. The clear tourmaline figurine of sugar fluoris in yak leather. Okay, why not? On the item is a an image of dwarves in alpaca wool. The dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the foundation of sculpted hammers by the revered crystal in, of the virtuous paper in the virtuous paper Sicily in the early spring of 128. Isn't that a fancy scepter with a lot of material in it, actually? So I wonder how much it is worth. Let's see, it is worth 30, 38,400 and uh, yeah, random currency units. Which is pretty nice. Uh, it is a very, very fancy thing. We have forbidden that, we have forbidden those, and we have forbidden those, and they are not hatching. I guess we can uh, just let them be taken. Okay, on the bright side we have things to mine out, which means we have... or we can start assigning new tasks. What did we strike here? Well, that's some kind of... Okay, clear circum. That's not very uh, expensive if memory serves. Not that we actually have to worry about gold, we have scepters that are worth a small fortune. And probably more than most traders carry anyway. 
Right now such items are pretty much useless. I think they could be of use in the economy back when it was in. However, since it is uh, not active right now, we can't really do anything about it. And I want uh, 20 of those, 20 of those, 20 beds. Um, what else did I want? Um, I want rock doors, like four, and I want some rock cabinets, again, 20, also some, let's actually make wooden chests, 20 of those, that should be our barrack uh, equipment. And with that, the time for this episode is over, so I'm going to uh, stop the recording quickly, and I'll see you in a moment.